don't know if anybody is up. I'm just, you know, getting ready for bed. Decided to drop by for a minute. Make sure I'm not too close to the microphone. Okay, let me see if anybody is here. Okay, Cece is always up. Cece, I'm just over here rolling my hair for bed. I'm rolling my hair with my rollers. I'm putting my cold cream on. I should have shared this to a few people, but I may not even be long, so I don't know. You know, I don't know, Cece. Hold on. Let me share this to some night owls. Let me share this to a couple of night owls. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Okay, we got a few people. We got a few people. It looks nice up in here. You know, uh, let me see who came through. Hey, Brother Ben, uh, Auntie Nell, uh, Carolina Law. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no time out. No. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Uh, no. Uh, hey, hey. No, I can't take it. <laughs> I don't care a lot of laws. That's why they want to beat me up, huh? <laughs> for sure, that's why they want to pop me. No, for real. No. <laughs> oh, that's why they want to whip me. I'm sorry, time out. Uh, I'm sorry to Carolina laws. Uh, was it North Carolina or was it South Carolina? You can't take what was <laughs> I can't take it to Carolina. I don't even know what Carolina it was. Was it North Carolina? Was it South Carolina? Who was it, Ty Squad? And who did they lose to? That's the next question. Listen, y'all, March Madness is almost over. Some of your people, uh, Carolina Vines, I'm rubbing it in. All, all call. Oh, it's North Carolina on. Uh, are y'all up this time of night, Ty Squad? Yeah, it's, it seemed like a late night and early morning. <laughs> okay, there, I, there it is. Once I get to yawning, honey. You know, I'm putting my uh, rollers in my hair like Laverne and Shirley, you know. Um. I'm previewing Beyonce new album. Yeah, I'm just listening to Larry new single. Uh, oh, I better not say that because that man, huh? You know the man, <laughs> the man that was over there in Patreon tonight, Ty Squad. We we've we been not mentioned Larry name. You know the man, the Patreon man. <laughs> oh, honey, he carried tonight. Didn't he carry tonight? Oh, Ty Squad, y'all gotta. Y'all got to join Patreon. Y'all be missing out, baby. Y'all be missing out. But, baby, listen. Mm. Yeah, I listen to it. It's it's catchy. It's really catchy. Uh, and, the, you know, production is real good. No shade. You ain't talking about nothing. Chickadee, chickadee, you know. Yeah, that man is a mess, son. I don't know, know what he want from me, the uh, the Patreon man. 
like, sir, exactly what what would you like me to do? What would you what do you want from me, Tyese Jackson? You know. Yeah, I like it. I like it, Ty Squad. Um I mean Ty Squad, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. My mother not probably gonna be listening to Beyonce country album. You know. Hold on, somebody commenting on something on my phone. Hold on. Oh, that was my cousin. That was my cousin commenting on my um my um my cousin was commenting on my post I did. Jolene was the best song on there. Everyone's saying she's singing on that joint. Okay, I'll listen to it. I definitely want to hear Jolene. I want to hear Jolene to see how she, you know. But you know, they got a special coming out. You know, the these white folks are upset. Uh on the commercial, the preview for it, the white man was talking about. You just can't put a twang in your voice and say it's country. They just, they do not like black people. <laughs> you just can't put a little twang in your voice and say it's country. Like, they, they don't understand that they don't own genres and that black people created all of this. You know, it all stems from the blues and jazz, right? So, come on. <laughs> we are all of it stems from the blues. So we are the innovators. And so they just get upset. I mean, yeah, I can I can listen to the first like, you know, couple of chords, um, BJ. But I'm just gonna be I'm not gonna be just sitting up listening to Beyonce country music, you know. I ain't gonna sit up here in front. But I can I can listen to, you know, I can go through it and then tomorrow I can you know, tell the task squad what I think of some of the things. Now, I do like that 16 carriages. 16 carriages has a nice little, you know, a melody to it. So I do like that. Mm. But she said, she said them people made her feel so bad at the, um, at the CMAs in 2016. She decided to go ahead and, you know, do an album about it. I don't blame her. And they say Renaissance 3, um, well, they say Act 3 basically is going to be um, a rock album, rock and roll. So, honey, she ain't playing with the kids. You know, um, my thing is that she's not taking any time. Maybe she needs to take, like, you know, but I guess... She getting it while she getting it. Like a girl last year, she released uh she just released what's that song called? She just released Renaissance. Like, girl, sis is not taking no breaks, honey. Girl, you don't want to get you some recipe outside. Peeking out the window of the replay bushes to say, uh, oh, hello, I love your let me see what this is, baby. Let me see. That's Nene. Peeking out of the replay bushes to say, hello, I love your content and community. Well, thank you. Honey, we just, we have it hard, but, you know, we just, we just love and we just give love and we've had, you know, uphill battles, but, you know, we don't complain any, you know, we've had a lot of trouble, but we have more love than we have trouble, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, not Riverdance, then Punk. Mm -mm. Welcome to the chat, Nene. Welcome, baby. Uh, where are you watching us from, Nene? What city and state? I think when she retires, she want to retire. Lelanda, when she retires, she want to retire in style. Like She want to be like a two or three billionaire, maybe four billion. Yeah. Like sometimes I wonder, like, girl, what are you? What do people? What are y'all gonna do with all that money? There's so much y'all can do in the world. What you gonna do with four, five billion dollars? You know, 
You, you're not going, you know, you're not going to live forever. You know, what you going to do with all that money? I be looking at people sitting up with $55 billion. Like, girl, you know how much good you can do in the world with that kind of money. They don't even think like that. Oh, you're in Carlson. Okay, you over here by me. Okay. Uh-huh. You over here by me over there in Carlson. Carlson is kind of like, you know, it's like the black, it's like a black version of, you know, uh, like Melrose Place, that kind of energy. Like, it's a lot of, you know, it's a working class, it's a bedroom community, you know, it's like, you know, the black version of, name a TV show, you know, a, a white oriented good TV show. It just gives you that, but it's just black, you know, very nice area. It might be another 15 years from now, but I hope she does a gospel album. Um, I, I mean, I've heard Beyonce sing gospel, Kirby Mac, and it's like, you know, I remember one year they bumped Lettucey. They gave, um, they bumped Lettucey and let, um, let uh, Beyonce sing Precious Lord. It just, it just wasn't nothing there. Beyonce don't have no oil on her like that for Precious Lord. So it just, I, I forgot who they were doing a tribute to. Oh, I think it was about the Selma move, the Selma movement or the Selma movie. And child, they let Beyonce sing Precious Lord instead of Lettucey. I was like, girl. Girl, Beyonce, this ain't your calling, sweetheart. You got a lot of talent, but this, you know, you ain't got no oil, mama. with no oil on that damn precious Lord. Mm -mm. Mm. I'm hoping it comes as she gets older. Oh, you want her to do an album Kirby when she get delivered and set free and set apart? After she didn't divorce... She done divorced Jay Z and Mama Tina went home to be with the Lord and the kids are grown. Yeah, okay. You know, I I got you. Yeah, she ain't got no uh Beyonce can't say no damn gospel. Uh, it ain't like a Aretha Franklin Amazing Grace, you know. Mm -mm. No. Mm mm. Yeah, that's what I, I remember, you know. Baby, when I tell y'all this banana nut, this banana nut uh, muffin from from Ralph's, oh my God. Y'all know I've always been a fan of banana nut or either carrot. I'm not a big fan of a blueberry muffin. Mm, mm, mm. I'm done. I'm watching what I'm eating at night, y'all. Um, from Ralph's, from Ralph's. Ralph's is our grocery store out here. It's like it's from the Kroger brand. Uh, I love most of Cowboy Carter. That daughter song and Protector were great. Uh-huh. Blueberry and strawberry. Okay. Okay, so Bap says that uh, I love most. Of, I, I'm gonna give it a listen to tonight. That's why I, I I'll do it. I will listen to a couple of tracks before bed. Mm hmm. That's the least I can do. Mm. Wait a minute. Hold on, that's why. Okay. I was letting somebody else know that we're live on YouTube. Okay, can we get some more Bush people to check in? 
I love our new followers, Ty Squad. I love Bush people, you know? I love Bush people. You know, we've been getting a lot of people due to some of our controversies, you know? <laughs> Y'all know controversies bring people. So can we get a couple more Bush people to come out and just introduce themselves? Um, We would love for a couple of Bush people to come out and just say, Hi, I'm in the bushes. I think sometimes y'all, and I, and this is why I'm really, really, really trying to move forward and get away from this. I don't know what you call it, Taswa, because we're not a part of the beef sector, but there's always some tea, you know, and and I'm just I've tr I've tried so hard to disconnect from these girls, you know, but something. Something always keeps us attached to these girls, and um, and I'm I'm gonna do my due diligence. I'm just because I'm really sick of them. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm sick of these girls. Just really, just nauseously sick of them. They just make me want to puke. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do my due diligence, y'all. I really am gonna try my best to um. Put these girls in the review mirror because they're just worthless. They they don't bring anything. They don't bring even the relationships that were, were that we thought we had. They didn't even bring nothing to the table. So they they bring nothing. They add nothing to us uh, as a brand. You know, as a squad. So I just want to do my due diligence. Go just let, let these girls just, just let them go. Just go. Just go on down the road. I'm in the bushes, but I just got to the gym. So I'm just listening. Oh, okay, Joshua. You know, and sometimes, you know, that's why people don't want to come out the bushes. It's too scary. It's too scary. It's all where they fighting all out in the front and busting bottles and shit in the streets in the front. It's too much. Hello, I'm Winky, an old member, but I'm coming out the bushes tonight. Hello. Oh, hey, Winky. I do remember your name, Winky. You know? That's why it's no shade, but it is scary. You know, every time people come over here, they come in, they sit down, and somebody, they fighting outside. You know, they busting bottles all in their parking lot. You know, it's always something with these girls. Just tuning in. How was your uh, factor meals? Everybody keep asking me. Let me say, I just had the um, Romello, uh, Romello, I just had the uh, ground beef with the uh, stream beans. I'm sorry, that shit is fire. I wouldn't even sit up here and lie. To the people that's talking about it needs seasoning, that's why y'all are all sick. Because, baby, that food is seasoned. I'm just trying to figure out what more salt do you need? That's why y'all all, you know, ankles look like damn pig feet. Because if you say that needs more salt, then, baby, oh, no wonder you damn sick. And I understand, like, when some of our top squad members say, yeah, you may want to you may, you may need to jazz it up. So I get that. Because, you know, black people, we just always jazz something up. Like, we get something from a restaurant. We jazz it up a little bit, add a little, you know, a little, little spice, a little seasoning to it. But these, I'm talking about the girls that are talking about adding salt. You, girl, you talking about that needs more salt? Girl. And the tax squad and black people in general, honey, you know, y'all know we going to Hey, RJ, y'all know we're going to always jam something up. Like, we can buy that we can buy that potato salad from the grocery store. Y'all know we're going to add some extra eggs to it or some extra onions, some sweet relish. We ain't going to put that damn um, store-bought potato salad out there like that. Mm -mm, but, yes, Factor is really good. I was busy this week, and I missed the deadline for my next shipment, Ty Squad. So I won't get another shipment until April 10th. I missed the deadline for my April 3rd shipment. So it's okay. It's okay. I'll manage. Mm -hmm. uh, we got to mash up them undercooked potatoes too. Mm-hmm. Doctor the potato salad. Uh-huh. Yeah, my mother used to do that doctor up that stuff. Add a little extra to it. And then the potatoes be so damn undone. It's like, honey, did y'all did y'all just put the water in the potatoes and turn on the eye for a minute and didn't turn it off? <laughs> you know? 
hi, I'm in the bushes, but we went to the same church back in the day. Holy Deliverance, I love your show. Okay, I think, have you reached out to me before about Holy Deliverance? I think I've, somebody reached out to me about Holy Deliverance. I think that may have been you. Babs 111. I wish I would come out these bushes. I'm trying, I'm trying to let these girls go from these YouTube streets so we don't have to deal with all that damn trash, you know, these YouTube trash people. So y'all don't have to be scared. You know, I know it's just been fighting all out in the front and, you know, they came by and uh, wrote graffiti on the Marta Gibbs. I know. Okay, yeah, Holy Deliverance. That was my old church, yeah. Well, that was my mama church. I just went because my mom. <laughs> you know, as a child, you know, that's my mama church. So, of course, that's my church, too, by proxy. Uh-huh. I wanted did you I wanted did you know Shandana? I think her name was Shandana. The last time I went to Holy Deliver, she was still going. Man, I haven't been. I don't even know. Now the pastor the cure is dead. I don't know how, honey. Listen, maybe Grace and them running it now. Uh, I'm trying to see who over there, who over there running the church. Because you know, Pastor the Cure passed away about three years ago. So I know Jonathan ain't over there preaching. He had Grace, Jonathan, and what was that other? Yeah, the, the, you know, two girls and that one boy called Grace, Jonathan. What was the other daughter name? Uh, I cook everything from scratch, so I'm picky about my food. I was like, those people, the scratch people really annoy me. They're really annoying. You know, scratch people really annoy me. I'm sorry, they do. Uh, I can cook, I can cook in my sleep, but I, I like shortcuts now, honey. I don't, I, I can't do all that, honey. I don't know. Uh, what did you, oh, I make this cake from scratch. Girl, ain't nobody gonna step in and make no cake from scratch, honey. I have to get cake flour and I have to get, you know what I'm saying, bu uh, butter and all that. Girl, I'm not doing all that. I'm not doing all that for no damn cake. Girl, go get a pack of cake mix, add some eggs in it, whip that shit up and throw it in the oven. Uh, I'll catch the re well, well, we had, well, how did we just got here? E A E F uh, E F G. She said, I'll catch the replay, honey. You, we just got here, baby. Uh, be running. I still get letters in the mail. Oh, uh, you still get letters, honey. Ex expect a miracle. Be there. 1141 North Lincoln in the city of Pasadena. I'll see you there. Oh, he was legendary, honey. He was like a Pastor the Cuba is like the Brian Carn of the West Coast, no shade. You know, he was like the Brian Carn of the East uh, of the West Coast, excuse me. Yeah, and I'm not gonna sit up and I'm not gonna bang no cake from scratch, honey. For what? Why? Black people like to black people like to brag about that. Like they get something, they get off on that. Oh, girl, I made this from scratch. Oh, you made it from scratch? What? Yes, girl. I made it from scratch, honey. I put my foot in this cake. Uh huh. Uh, you can't even make a quick banana pudding. People look at you sideways. I'm not gonna say boil no damn milk and boil custard and make a make a custard. Girl, go in there, get some damn Cool Whip, get some damn Jello pudding, chop up some damn bananas and throw some damn vanilla wafers on the top. Shit, we we'll be sitting here all day stirring damn milk all night. Shit. They get off on that kind of stuff. They like standing in the kitchen with their hands on their hips like Mahalia Jackson in the kitchen. Black people get off on that kind of stuff. I'm telling y'all. Ooh, girl, how long was you in there making it? Ooh, girl, I was in there for 17 hours. You was in there for 17 hours? Yes, girl, I was in there for 17 hours making that food. Mm. I like uh, sitting in the kitchen uh, by the stove in a little chair. Black people like that kind of stuff, like Harriet Tubman sitting there rocking. Ooh, girl, honey, I, I put my foot in these greens. How long they been cooking, girl? Girl, I've been cooking these greens since Thursday. Thursday. Girl. That's why, they, that's why the greens be looking like spinach. You done cook. Ain't no more vitamins and nutrients in the damn greens. You know. I'm telling y'all, honey, I'm, I'm older now. I look for shortcuts. Whatever shortcut I can get. 
They don't like Miss Covenson's. You know, Miss Covenson's is like you add it to your dressing. You know what I'm saying? You add to Miss Covenson's, it gives a little flavor. If you don't want to make, excuse me, if you don't want to make um homemade dressing, you know, get a little stove top. There ain't nothing wrong with stove top. Add a little chicken stock to it, a little butter, honey. Stove top. You can jazz up. You can jazz up stove top too. Cause I've done it. You know, you got a little, you got a little pan of cornbread. Mix it up with that stove top. Mix it all together. Throw a little sage in there. You know, you ain't gotta make no damn Willie Coochie Georgia dressing. Shit. I ain't trying to work a third or fourth job. No, I know how to get in that kitchen and make things look pretty, and it's still flavorful. Uh, it's good to be here. You are the queen. I don't want to get a big head, Reginald. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to get a big head. I thank God for the gift. Mm. You say yuck. Oh, you say yuck. Why you say yuck? You don't like stove top. You want to make you you make your cornbread. You know if you if you're in the kitchen, you make your cornbread and stuff. Is that why you said at yuck? You don't like stove top. Huh, you don't like it? You don't like I bet you I can go in there right now, make some stove top and mix it with some cornbread and you'll lick the pot. I bet you that, A. Montgomery. How much you want to bet? Get your money out. I bet you I can go in there right now and mix some cornbread and some stove top together. You wouldn't even know it was stove top. And I bet you you'll lick the pot. Mm -hmm. When I finish, that I can guarantee you. I'm from Jackson, Mississippi. I ain't seen a dish that I could damn prepare. I use sure because I just enjoy cooking. It's therapeutic. Yeah, it's therapeutic for me too, honey. But I'm not going to be sitting up in there. Uh, um, I'm not going to be sitting up in there like the Miss Jane Pittman rocking and shit and uh, cooking all damn night. No, I'm not going to do it. Uh, congratulations on your five million views. You deserve it. Yeah, you know, that was shocking, you know. And it just means a lot of people are watching. We have a lot of bush washers. That's all that means, you know what I'm saying? I don't like collars. I prefer mustard greens and turners. Mustards and turners have a bite to it. Turner greens can get real tough. And mustard greens have a little bite to it that I don't, you know, have a little spice to it that I don't really like. But them turnip greens, that I don't have all day. I'm not going to be sitting there nursing no greens from 7 o'clock in the morning to 7 o'clock at night till they get tender. You know, with them damn turnips. So I like collars because they hold up well. You know, collars, honey, you can cook them and they are not going to break down. And a lot of people don't like, a lot of people don't like, um, a lot of people don't like, uh, Bad greens. I love bad greens. You know, uh, you want to sit there on the porch and pick greens all day like Mary on 227 on the stoop. You know, I like um, bad greens. Well, it has too many stems in it. Girl, that's where all the vitamins are in the damn stem. Y'all done threw the whole damn stem in the damn trash bag. Oh, I don't like stems. That's why you, you not get no damn nutrients. That's why you're anemic. You know, get no damn iron because you can threw the whole stem in the trash can. Mm. Big Mama would roll over her grave. And then Big Mama went to her early grave and been in that kitchen all day from all that damn heat on that stove. That's why she in her grave. She went to her early grave and slaved over that damn hot ass stove. Mm hmm. Sweating and shit in that hot ass kitchen. Mm -hmm. Big Mom went to an early damn grave, cooking from um, sun up to sundown. Uh, that's why you're. That's why you're not regular. Come on, Big Mom rolled up her grave. Well, she better do some somersaults. Oh, she was ninety six. Child, okay. Uh, anywho. We got a rainstorm coming, child. I just don't know. I don't know, but I put my black eye dream. I put my black up curtains today, y'all. I put the black up curtains in the bedroom. I don't know. I'm think. I don't know. I don't put them up. I don't know. I think I'm gonna get some mini blinds in the bedroom. I'm gonna get some mini blinds. Do people still have? Do people still use the vertical mini blinds, Sasquatch? Because you know, 
I'm gonna go on Amazon.com and see how much they are. I may either get some wooden mini blinds, the wooden color, or y'all may just get black. I'm trying to see, do people still do vertical mini blinds? Yeah, I don't give a damn if they do do them. It's my damn money. This is my damn house. I know everybody does the uh, horizontal blinds. Do you like kale? Yeah, I like kale, but kale, honey, it's a superfood, but honey, kale has to, you got to do a lot to kale. You know, you gotta you gotta add you gotta add a lot of flavor to kale, cause kale has this I almost I hate to say like dirty. It has like an earthy taste, so it's like honey, you have to do a lot to cut that earthy taste down. Hey, Bishop E. Yeah, some people still use vertical blinds. Oh, okay, I'll look I'll look on Amazon and see how much they are. And uh, I may do these vertical blinds because sometimes, you know, with the blackout curtains, they get too dark up in here. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'll get the team. I'll see how much they cost. I'm sure they're not much. I'm sure they're not much. Tonight in Patreon, we talked about the young man. We're going to talk about it tomorrow. The young brother over in the DMV that was... Um, he was thrown out. Well, not thrown out. He was let go. Let, let me clarify. He was uh, terminated because he was LGBTQ and he had been playing for the church for 14 years, right? So he's really hurt. He's really, you know, his faith is being tested. And, you know, y'all know um, they let him go, unfortunately. You know, he was a Sunday school teacher, but somebody, took a picture, you know, to the pastor and showed the pastor him and his partner on Facebook. So now they have, you know, terminated him, saying it goes against their values, you know. It's just a sad story, you know. It's just sad because I'm good enough to be here for 14 years teaching the children, but as soon as you, you know, like I said in Patreon Tax Squad, you can be gay. You just can't be openly gay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I've seen that Kirby Mac. And there are gonna be people that be like, you know, well, Tyus, you know, it's the church, and if it goes against they, you know, go, you know. But the problem is that the most of these pastors ain't doing nothing but freaking. They all, you know, got extracurricular activities. And at this church, honey, it's several girls up there in the pool pit, honey, that's gals. They're just not out, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know what the problem is. Mm -hmm. That's what I tell y'all. I just I can't deal with all that stress no more, honey. Okay, them people, these people, honey, will, they don't care nothing about your feelings. I already told the girls they don't care nothing about your feelings. They will use you up and throw your ass on the side of the road. Mm -hmm. They will use you, honey, and chew your ass up and spit you out. Yes, they will. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, Credit Karma. I know Credit Karma lying. Hold on, Ty Squad. Let me see something. I don't know what's going on here, lady. Hold on, Ty Squad. Hold on, hold on. Maybe they not lying. Child, I know that's not possible. Wait a minute. Maybe Credit Karma not lying. Let me read this, baby. Let me see what's going on. Congrats on your women. Congrats on a score increase of over 80 points. You've been doing a great job with your... Okay, wait a minute. 80 points, honey. I'm trying, mother trying to get into the, I'm trying to get into the, uh, well, I better not give out too much information because, you know, these hackers are always around. Mm, okay, I'm going to check my credit score after I get off of here. 80 points, that's a lot, honey. Listen, a lot, that's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of movement on that damn credit score. Uh, Uncle Jordan, I hope Uncle Jordan, um, uh, pay off that damn student loan uh, uh, forget that student loan and didn't tell me you can earn a custom verticals with a room with a remote oh it ain't that serious Reginald I ain't, <laughs> I 
I just want some just a regular vertical mini blinds. You know, I can do cordless or I can do the cord. Either one is fine. You know, it ain't that deep, um, Reginald. Thank you, brother. You know, uh, I've seen people, the blinds come up in the morning when the sun come up, baby. It ain't that deep. It's not. Hey, Crystal Marshall. <clears throat> well, tomorrow is Friday. It's the, um, oh, tomorrow is Good Friday, Tyson. Tomorrow is Good Friday. So we got Good Friday, and then we have uh, Easter Sunday, and then April Fools, all the same week weekend. And a lot of people are upset. I was reading in the Christian Post, a lot of people are upset because Transgender Day of Visibility or Remembrance, one of the two, is March 31st. So, you know, People are just upset. like, how are y'all upset that the day, you know, that's already set March 31st, which is, I think, Transgender Day of Remembrance. That's always March 31st. It just happens to fall on Easter. What, what are people upset about? Your FICO score is more than likely higher if Credit Karma says so. Oh, um, okay. Well, I'm going to go around here. See, when can I apply for this American Express? That's what I want. I want American Express. I got some things I got to do, and I have a lot of projects I'm working on. Uh, what we talking about, Ty? Child, I ain't talking about nothing but a little bit of everything. Basketball had me in a head like I was in the bushes. Oh, they said that uh, uh, you heard the news how huh? Carolina lost. You heard the news, huh, sis? Yeah, Carolina lost. I lost it. Time Out Sports Podcast came and told me about it. I fainted. He had to put smelling sauce under my nose. I lost it in here, sis. I couldn't take it. The Carolina lost. Uh, it's supposed to rain on Easter. Kids won't be doing no eat. No, take y'all asses inside, honey. You don't need to. You don't need to be out there catching no cold. Well, nobody in LA be wearing no hat now. With this storm that's coming in, you won't be wearing no hats this Sunday. You are gonna be having some ponchos on. There's some plastic bags over your head. Crystal, I lost it since I couldn't take it when I got the news that North Carolina lost. I just lost it. I couldn't take it. Mm hmm. Did Illinois win? Child, you know, honey, you asked the wrong person. The hell if I know. Oh, you said did. Okay. Illinois won. Oh, okay. I thought you was asking me a question. Now that was a declarative. Oh, okay. Uh, Illinois won. Also, Illinois won. Continue to dispute counts on your credit reports. Yesterday was National Piano Day. Okay, Reginald. <laughs> okay, bro, bro. Yeah, I got you. It's a lot of night owls. It's like nearly 200 people up this time of night. That's why. Now, of course, we don't have 200 people in the chat. I mean, we don't have 200 people actually chatting. So we got about a good 70 people, maybe 50, 70 people. So that means there's another 100 people that are just watching me. Can we get some more bushwashers to come out? So we got about 70 in the chat that's actively chatting and another 100 that are watching me. Of course, the person that records all of my videos and send them to my ops and, you know, they're here, I'm sure. Uh, you know, them people is here, but <coughs> we got to figure out where the other hundred people are at. Mm -hmm. It's a rainy Easter now. It's not the time for, oh yeah, it's not a time for them finger waves and stuff. Uh-uh. Not this Sunday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, since y'all here, uh -huh. since y'all here, can y'all please hit the like button for me, please? Okay, if you're here, hit the like button. I was listening to another concert group break some stuff down about some things. I didn't even know you were live. Oh, uh, who was it, sis? What other country creator was? Was it? Was it that man? You know, I'm really sick of him. I peeked in, I listened to a little bit of it, and uh, I just come to the conclusion. I don't even want to watch him anymore because I really just, his energy now is like, 
you know, it's like I listened to the part, uh, you know, Sheree with Phil. I listened to a uh, fast forward and listened to the part where he was talking about, you know, being messy and content creators. And I was like, you know, it's the gall of some of these girls that sit around here acting like uh, KP or oh, King Payne. Okay. Uh, I was listening to Sheree Whitfield. It's just like, girl, you know, I just, I, I, he's one of the one bloggers I don't want to watch again. I just don't want to watch him. I don't want to see him. I, uh, I unsubscribe, you know, he just, he has a real nasty, messy church punk, you know, energy. And I should have recognized it when I first, mm -mm. that's one of the great wastes of my YouTube experience that, whatever that was that we had, you know, with uh, Sheree Whitfield, but you live and you learn. My Angelo, so when you know better, you do better, so. Mm-hmm. I usually, usually what Carol A.B. Morgan? I was in the van tonight, Ty. What van? This should be the last of the rain before we hit it. Oh, don't, don't, don't say that, baby. Please don't talk that up. Uh, I hear don't feel good. That's why I'm not typing tonight. Okay, what's wrong with you, Yanitha? What's wrong, baby? What's wrong? What's going on with you? But yeah, I'm over. Uh, I'm over Sheree with you. I just, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see the thumbnail. I turned all that shit off. I don't want to see your face. I can't stand a sneaky, messy punk. That's the worst kind of punk you could ever be in, 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 in my uh, peripheral. Uh, I usually say hello and sit in the back. Oh, okay. I don't listen to Sheree. Oh, yeah, because you're sitting up, honey. You, you're sitting up and, you know, kind of really basically stole my whole style of blogging. Like, piggyback and parody all of my damn, you know. <laughs> it's okay, though. Uh, but, yeah. Mm-hmm. Come out, come out wherever you are. And, and you know who is Bishop E? I've been seeing that name, but you're not. You know, you're. We haven't really found you on our on our on our uh, recorder. Bishop E. Now, who are you, baby? Who are you? We've been seeing your name a lot too. Now, where are you from, Bishop E? Uh huh. Especially an old. Ain't nothing worse than an old messy punk church punk, and he is just that. And I should have caught it. You will be imitated but never duplicated. That's what they say, Nene. Hey, Robert Hanna. Uh, who is this Bishop E, huh? We need to find out who that is. I wish Kevin was here so he could run a make. We got a couple of names we want to give Kevin to run a make. Run a make on some of these people. My back been hurting me. Okay, go get that little doctor. That could be your kidneys. It could be your kidneys or it could be nerves or stress. So uh, if it's not better by tomorrow, you need to go up there to the doctor's office and let them know. Because we want you to uh, we want you to be in uh, optimum health. We don't want you, you know. So have them go up there and, you know, they're going to do some x-rays. They're going to do some lab work on you. But please don't just sit there and take it. It was something about tonight, Stephanie. What I just, I don't know. It was something about his face, something about how he was talking. You know, it's already this really irritating already. But I was just like, I am just so, I'm just over this guy. You know, just, ugh. I went into them settings so fast. I don't want to see his ass ever again. Messy damn boots. Um. Okay, there we go. Hold on, that's well. Okay, I read that already. My back been hurting. I just had my leg. Okay, you just had your leg. What happened to your leg, Robert Hanna? I haven't been seeing you in the chat. How you been, brother? Now, what happened to your leg? Okay, we got Yunitha in her back. We got Yunitha in her back, and then Robert Hanna just had his leg operated on. Uh, I tore my Achilles. Oh, Lord Jesus. Uh, Bishop E, we ran Bishop E off. We were just trying to figure out who you were, baby. 
Bishop E, did you? Bishop E, Bishop E. Sometimes you don't know who these people are. You just want to know, get a little background on them. Babe, where are you watching us from? Oh, how did you find us? I never run him off. He probably still here just listening. You know, but when you get to when you start asking questions, sometimes they do get nervous and paranoid. You know, well, I'll be like, child, this is YouTube. Look like you should be open to answering a question or two. Like, where are you watching us from tonight? How long have you been with us? You know, just simple questions. These people get paranoid and, you know, child, like, you know. I was hoping he would take accountability for that. Uh, screenshot, but he did. Child, a child, child. And he probably don't even. These people don't have no damn moral compass, Stephanie. These damn people ain't got no damn. These people will uh, stab your ass in the back, wipe the knife off, and put it in the drawer, honey, and go to bed. Don't give a damn about your feelings. I live here in Los Angeles, originally from Philly. Oh, you live in Los Angeles? Uh, what part of Los Angeles you live in, Bishop E? Do we know each other? Do you know me outside of face? Um, not Facebook. Do you know me outside of uh, YouTube, Bishop E? Or you just uh, you're just a virtual acquaintance? You say you live here in Los Angeles. Mm. Well, how old are you? What's your age? You know, uh, let me fill out this. Let me fill out this packet for you. I'll fill it out. What's your age? Mm -hmm. And how long have you been with us? I'll fill, out, I'll fill it out and then we'll just turn it in together. I'm still here. Okay, we know you're still here, but what's your age, honey? And uh, do you know me from LA? Or are you just a virtual you know, acquaintance? <laughs> hmm. Okay, it takes them a long time. I know it takes them a long time to type Mother Brown. Okay, we know he's still here and we know he's in LA. We just gotta wait for the rest. We gotta wait for how old you are and uh, how long have you, um, or how did you find out about us? Uh huh. I've been enjoying you from the other channel. Okay, you to my Kelly Price channel. AKA Burger King Crown. Is that who you talking about? They say he work at the Goodwill now. Uh, they say uh, they say Burger King, AKA Kelly Price. They say he work over the Goodwill now. That's why he um, that's why he don't come on no more. I said, wow. They say he work at the Goodwill. He do like we work from nine to five. And so he don't have time to come on and do YouTube no more. I was like, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, they say he work at the Goodwill. I said, that boy did not work at the Goodwill. They say, yeah, he do. He work at the Goodwill in Tampa. And so that's why he don't have time to do his uh, YouTube show no more. Uh, he, he'll do Tasha K. Because that's like, you know, a set time. You know, on, he can clear his schedule. But they say uh, he work at the Goodwill. And he's trying to raise money to pay his lawyer. I said, I, I see. I said, I can kind of see that, you know. You've been here a few months, Bishop E. Okay. Okay, I'll turn your paperwork in. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely a mess. Yeah, they say, uh, they say, oh boy, work, oh boy, down there at the Goodwill, working at the Goodwill. I don't know why he worked at the Goodwill. <laughs> this is just a room with Tasquad. Now, this may not be, this may not be. Did he get the form? <laughs> oh, y'all are a mess. But see, that's why he don't do his channel no more. Because he worked at the damn Goodwill. Remember he came on, he said, see, I'm, I'm working on big projects. <laughs> wait, wait, stop, Ty, stop. Don't do this, how is. Remember that last video, he said, they'll see. I'm, I'm working on projects. They'll see what I'm, I'm doing with. And then he like disappeared, and then he did the uh, he did the ball where he was in, dressed up in the tin foil, and then child that boy be working he be over there at that Goodwill working on cutting boxes and shit, you know. Oh, you live in Hyde Park? Okay, you order Hyde Park over there off of, uh 
hold off for like Crenshaw and uh, you know, like um Crenshaw engage, you know, over the West Boulevard over the that way. It's nothing but trade over there, honey. I'm talking about trade boots. And Crenshaw and High, I mean Crenshaw and uh Crenshaw and Gage. You know, West Boulevard and all up and through that way, honey. Uh oh you fifty one. Oh okay. That was a project. Oh, he said, Y'all don't see I'm working on some projects. We move in silence. We moving in silence. So I think he's working, you know, he has to work a job to pay his attorney, you know. Honey, it is trade for days over there, honey. You gotta be careful over there though, baby, because that trade is kind of rough, baby. That's rough trade. Over there in the uh Ooh, that's like in the 60s and the 70s. Ooh, baby, be careful, honey. I'm talking about from like, ooh, let me see. But I'm just going to be honest, baby. Just starting from Slauson all the way to damn Florence. Just be careful. Mm-hmm. Be careful. Slauson all the way down to Florence. And he said he's working on some big projects. And see, he's, he's moving in silence. Y'all will see. So y'all will see what he's uh, up to. Listen, I don't know if the boy's working uh, or he just, you know, you know, or he just took time off, you know what I'm saying, from his channel. You know, but it just seemed like, because I know Tasha K not paying. Tasha K is not paying like that, y'all. I promise you she not. Um, uh, she is paying them, but baby, I, I can guarantee you, I mean, them lives don't even clear, them lives don't even clear 700 people. It'd be like in the low 600, sometimes 500. Um, so she's not making no money. She's not making no, compared to what she normally makes. She's not making any, um, she's not making no big money from Tuesdays and Thursdays. I think she's, you know, Using them as filler shows while she's out on the road doing her thing, you know, she kind of it kind of fills her channel out a little bit, you know, so it's not a lot of dead space. Because Tasha, I'm just gonna be honest, honey, girl, you're not gonna be able to do a Fox Soul TGIF tip thing, you know. Mm -mm. She's not gonna be able to do a TGIF because it's like, girl. I there's already one TGIF girl. It's not like there's no need for a second one. And I watched most of them, the three, you know, the three panel people. And her problem is she is pairing the wrong people together. If you ever watch any of those shows, tea is a tea is the new coffee, whatever that bullshit is called. Okay, Bishop E, we got you. We filled out your packet. Okay, thank you. Um, she just pairs the wrong people together, you know, point blank. Maybe he's going to do another rebrand. You never know. Okay, Bishop E, we know. You harmless. I know. We know, babe. We got you. You're 51 in Hyde Park, and you're harmless. We got you. So I don't know, Tasha. I don't know what's going on around here. You know what I'm saying? Let me turn this light off, honey. It's it's wait a minute. Hold on, Tasha. It's dark in here. I'm scared, Tasha. It's dark. I can't even see nothing. I'm scared. Okay. So, yeah, she just be pairing the wrong people together. And, honey, some of them people just don't have it. And that's no shade. Some of them people just don't have it. You know, so. Um, are y'all still here? Say 195. It says 195 people. I wonder why they haven't released any more unsolved, any more unsolved mystery episodes. I wonder why they haven't released any more 
Them damn unsolved mystery episodes are good. They scary, but they are good. I be in here terrified. Mm-hmm. Send comfort. Send comfort for what, uh, Robert Anna? Send comfort. I would love me a good um uh, a good unsolved mystery episode right now. Okay, we're trying to figure out what Robin Hanna talking about send comfort. Because I said I was scared. I'll be okay, Robert Hanna. Um we'll see what happens. But yeah, he's been gone away from that channel for over for over two weeks, hasn't he? So something got him distracted. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. Honey, listen, May is coming. May 6 is coming. Yeah. I'm still sitting up here debating, am I going to go to the trial or die, honey? You know, that ain't right around the corner. Time squad. Minnesota ain't right around the corner. I'm going to just stay and just sit home and watch and wait for the verdict to come through, honey. Shit. Because we're going to get the tea. Because it's public record, honey. We'll get the tea. So, Because I got to fly to Minneapolis. Then I got to get a hotel. and yeah, It's a lot. That's a lot. Um, we will see. They said they all. Um, well, yeah, that's what they said. <laughs> so, hell, I believe he said they all work over there, baby. They all work. They all got jobs over there at the Burger King Company. So, we'll see what happens, Ty Squad. But, like Stephanie said, honey, May 6th. I wasn't expecting May to come this fast, Tyswa. Man, we for the it's gonna be April first, Monday, and then after that, it's downhill, honey. Mm. It is downhill after that. Yeah, see, April. Mm-hmm. Now listen, I wish him the best. I mean, I think Bishop. I think Bishop Felton wins either way, because even if he loses, he won. Because even if he, um, even if he lose, he won because he got you to spend money you don't have. So he won. He he won by proxy. And then, you know, for a case like defamation, I think. Or case like defamation, I think his lawyers, a lot of times people are not going to take no defamation case unless they know it's something that is, you know, provable. So ain't nobody going to take no federal lawsuit on unless they know they can go to court and win it. DM will probably have live coverage. He'll have a field game. Go to the trial in Mall of America, child. Baby girl, more yeah, brother more, honey, gonna cut the hell up. I mean, Tasqua, I mean, I can look at some tickets, Tasqua. I'll look at some tickets and see, you know. Oh, child. But I don't wanna see, I don't wanna buy no damn ticket, honey, and something get postponed or Something has changed around. I will be over it. What the hell am I going to do in Minneapolis? So I got to see Ty Squad. I think everything is on. You know, everything is still on, but I'll get up there and my oh, they're in a mood court date to June 30th. Oh my God. I will be hot as fish grease. Mm. Oh, okay. It should have been you, Kyrie, and himself. Oh, you must don't like London. You must have like that little boy from Ethiopia, London. A little natural geographic boy. Hmm. Oh, yeah. How, well, how long? Uh, you know all that, honey. You ain't, you ain't new, Bishop E. Hmm. Bishop E, you must have been around. And you know all that. You talk about what it should have been. 
Yeah, and I think Bishop, I think Bishop E is somebody we know. But if he say he, you know, if he say he over there on 51st, we'll take his word for it. I think Bishop E is somebody we all know probably. Uh, it should have been you, Kyrie. Okie dokie, baby. Yeah, I think Bishop E is somebody we know. Mm-hmm. Well, Tasqua, it is almost 2 o'clock in the morning. Okay, it's almost 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm not going to keep y'all all night. I stayed a little longer than I anticipated, but the conversation just got good, Tasqua. So I said, so I talked to the task squad. I'm going to find me something good on TV. Um, I'm in Minneapolis and they are talking about Uber and Lyft leaving Minneapolis May 1st. I will try to keep you updated. Wait a minute, baby. Let me see what's going on. Hold on. Hold on, Pasquale. Let me verify this one second. Hold on. Can I get one of my can I get one of my um can I get one of my task squad members to Google and verify this? Uh, Uber and Lyft leaving Minneapolis May 1st. Task squad members, can you please can I get a couple of task squad members to move quickly um, and verify this statement? Thank you so much. Can I get a couple of task squad members to move quickly and verify the statement? Thank you so much. We're gonna have our we're gonna have our team um verify this statement. One moment. Everybody hold on a minute. Can we get somebody from our legal uh team to verify um Uber and Lyft leaving Minneapolis May 1st. It has been verified. Okay. Okay, so um, that's a lot. That's complicated. You know, that's going to complicate things for me uh, because I got to get from the airport to, you know, the hotel and then I got to get from the hotel to uh, the courthouse. And then I may want to go by Bishop Church, Bishop um, Bishop Felton's church to celebrate, you know. So I'm gonna need an Uber over there. I want to go by Bishop Felton's church to celebrate with the with the, 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 the few members he got left, you know. I love it when you say boo quick. <laughs> Child, you know the black church, that's all everybody say. If there's an offering being taken up or if they want somebody to come up and, and say something, they'd love to about move quickly, move quickly. Especially when there's money involved. I gotta shave tomorrow, Tie Squad. I gotta shave tomorrow. This damn beard is wearing my ass out. Mm-hmm. Uh, Deborah Miller, uh, do you know Bishop Wayne Felton? Uh, who's that lady? Where'd she go, honey? Ma'am, come back. Who is that? Deborah Miller. Uh, do you know Bishop Wayne Felton? Do you know him? Deborah Miller? Do you know what's going on over there with uh, uh, King Jobs and, and Bishop Wayne Felton? Have you got the tea? What you know about it? Both Uber and Liver promising to end service in Minneapolis after the city council passed a new ordinance guarantee a pay rates of drivers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Corporate, the capitalists, the oligarchs, the plutocrats, they, mm -mm. I remember when we had the, the height of the pandemic and then afterwards, um, the city council passed an ordinance for a $5, just $5. A five dollar raise for you know grocery store workers, and I kid you not, I kid you not, as God is my witness, they passed that ordinance, and Kroger 
closed down two routes and one food for less. Mm -hmm. They closed down Slauson and they closed down Slauson and Crenshaw, which was so vital for um, it was so vital for View Park, Windsor Hills, Hyde Park, you know, Baldwin Hills, very vital. They closed that down. They closed down Sunset and Western. Food for less that had been there for years. Legendary. And they closed down um, one over there off of Pico. And their, their excuse was they were underperforming. But, yeah, they don't like paying out money, baby. They don't believe in... Mm -mm. They like to rake in. They don't like to pay out. It blew us all away. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have attended one of his services. Uh, you have? Uh, you know what's going on with him and uh, that guy, King Jives? You have You have any uh, information? Do you know what's going on with this? Have you heard the news about the lawsuit over there in, um, over there in Minnesota? Are you uh, are you abreast of the lawsuit, Sister Miller? Mm. Wayne Filter is suing this guy for defamation. Have you heard the news? He is supposed to market closed in LA. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's close. It was one on us. Sunset and La Brea. I used to like that Boston market. They made a mean ham sandwich on that little roll. Ooh. It was on uh and they carved that ham right off the bone. It was on La Brea and Sunset. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. That's why. No, I have not kept up with oh, you haven't kept up with it. Oh, okay. Hello. Mm-hmm. They don't want to pay. No, they don't want to pay. Anytime you say you're going to leave, this is what they think of everybody. You're going to leave thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, of people stranded. You, do you know what the airport situation would look like without Uber and Lyft? And all the cab companies, like, they all done child people don't walk away from working at the cab company now like you see a cab like every three or four weeks somewhere <laughs> like when was the last time you seen a cab you know uber destroyed the cab industry it's still around but not like mm -mm. only people to use only people to use cabs are seniors mm -hmm. seniors use cabs but nobody else use no damn cab I think the cab business would have a comeback in Minneapolis. You know, I think the cab business would definitely have a comeback. When was the last time anybody on, on, on anybody from the Thai squad, when was the last time any of you guys used the cab? Like, can you remember? How many people have, um, shit, how many of y'all have even used the cab? Can anybody remember the last time they used a cab? Yeah, we still got a few. Uh, I haven't seen a green cab in a minute. I haven't seen a green cab, but mm -hmm, we only have cabs in the hood. Yeah, it's still cabs over here in the inner city. Do they uh, have way more there? Those drivers list. Oh no, we ain't got that. Ooh, honey, it's been years. Oh, y'all never y'all never rolled in like hey. You you haven't sit in that back seat and watch that meter like oh I can't believe this. Uh, you sit there in that back seat and watch that damn meter jump. You be like bitch. Mm hmm. You know, that meter that meter just be jumping. Mm hmm. 2000, yeah. Back in the day, y'all, we used to, um, yeah, back in the day, we used to really use cabs a lot. You know what I'm saying? You may, uh, y'all know, uh, 
go to the club. Some of the girls go to the club and get dropped off down the street. <laughs> yeah. You know, girls don't like, uh, the kids don't like catching a bus to the club. Well, you catch the bus and get off at the stop before the club, you know. Mm-hmm. Turn the corner in the meter. Child, you go like, you go, okay, you get to one red light. And then you get one more red light. And then turn right. Child, that shit, that need to be on like $60. You be like, girl, what, what was y'all doing? And then you try to tell them the best way. They don't want to go that way. You got to tell them the fastest way to get there. You know? Mm-hmm. Car wash the movie. What about car wash, Auntie Nell? What about car wash? You know that's one of my favorite movies. That lady was looking for the... <laughs> You know I love that prostitute, the prostitute in car wash. How do you know that? Yeah, she was looking for Joe the whole movie. Anybody seen Joe? You know that is my favorite movie and it's my favorite character. Um, what was the prostitute's name? I think her name was Marlene. Mm-hmm. She was looking for Joe. She never found Joe. She she saw that cab meter. She saw how much it was. She, she got out that car. She tipped out that car and hit it. Mm. That is my favorite movie. My favorite scene. Mm -hmm. Anybody seen Joe? And we always were like, girl, what was so special about Joe? She was looking for this man. I think Joe may have been her pimp or something. Or Joe may have promised her that, you know, she was going to be a star or something. Because she looked for Joe the whole movie. Mm-hmm. All right, Tasquad, we've been on for an hour and 12 minutes. Child, you never know, honey. Um, now that I said she worked at the Goodwill, she's probably going to pop up tomorrow on YouTube, y'all. <laughs> Because I said she worked at the Goodwill. Mama going to pop up tomorrow. She's probably going to pop up on YouTube tomorrow. <laughs> oh. Now that I say Kelly Price, I said she was. That's what I heard. I didn't say she worked at the Goodwill. That's what they say. She worked at the Goodwill. Because she trying to pay off her lawyer. That's what I heard. I didn't say I didn't say she worked there. But yeah, they say he might pop up tomorrow. Top squad because to prove a point. You know? He must have promised her to work. Yeah, because she kept asking everybody, anybody seen Joe? Everybody was like, girl, no, we haven't seen Joe. I think that was one of her dates. That was one of her dates that he probably promised her something. And she thought, you know, girl, ain't nobody seen damn Joe. 6 a.m. will come quickly. Baby, listen. Okay, Tasqua. We're going to get ready to, uh, to slide into Friday. A new day. A new day God has blessed us to see in a little bit. Have a phenomenal... <laughs> okay, that's my cue. Have a phenomenal, phenomenal sleep tonight. The sweetest of dreams, as Anita Baker says. The sweetest of dreams. I'll see everybody at our appointed time for the Friday report. So have a great night. I love you, I love you, I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good Friday. Oh, very good Friday, because, listen, he got up. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a good Friday. Bye, everybody. <laughs>